So therefore, it's really important to be, like this reason, my teacher always recommended, like uh, whenever we visit to him, normally like a traditional people go to see Lama, a traditional put something in your head, give you some nectar pill, so it's a kind of, this is a blessing. Uh, that's how uh, they see the Lamas uh, in traditionally. But people go to see Kemba, let Kemba very much, eh? he don't put in the people's head, don't give in the nectar pill, he always says you should study Dharma. No, always he says Dharma. If you really, it's a real blessing, the definition of blessing means like uh, changing your mind from negative to the positive, from ignorance to wisdom, uncompassionate to compassionate, unkind to kind, that is a blessing, you know. Without changing your unkind to kind, you, no matter 100 kilo of nectar you eat, you know, still unkind means nothing, you know. <laughs> so in this way, uh, the real blessing is like a, changing our uh, ordinary to extraordinary. Uh, ordinary to special, that's just a really blessing, yeah. So in this way, very important not to rush to the main part, just carefully study about what is a loving kindness and how we can cultivate this loving kindness. Careful, <coughs> like a <coughs> very expert kind of a, uh, what called a flourish, the whole grow flower, yeah. They carefully prepare the soil first, you know. Then carefully they plant the seed. So once they very well prepared the soil and seed, then they know sooner or later are going to have a very beautiful kind of flower. You know? Some inexperienced look in the photos, oh, this really nice photo, uh, flower photo, I like it like this, you know. It's just a right seed, you don't prepare the soil, you don't prepare right, and just put the seed in the uh, uh, soil, and then you expect and expect never going to come up. Even come up not good as like a picture. So it means like you're rushed. you rushed or you don't have the knowledge how to prepare the flower yet. You know? So this reason is so important to gently nourishing, nurture, yeah? This loving kind is so important. So in the beginning, as mentioned, like we don't have this love to all sentient beings, we have to create it. Yeah? So to creating our mind to be a great loving kindness is the Dharma. You know? So it's really important to look with I discussed a few times about the Dharma. What the Dharma really means like uh, making your mind such a beautiful mind, that's the Dharma. Something you do make your ugly mind, that's not the Dharma. You know? like, uh, so in this way, we have to be careful. We could say like, uh, uh, our mind is a very kind of a high quality gold. Yeah? Right to the beginning. So when we reach enlightenment, our nature of the mind is not changing but it's changing the shape. Yeah? For instance, when you get kind of a, uh, a solid gold, and then you take this to a goldsmith, and this solid gold make beautiful ornaments, the nature of gold hasn't changed. It. Same gold, but the change is the design, more attractive. So same like, a, we know kind of a don't think about you're going to get new mind when you reach full enlightenment. There's nothing new mind. So this very mind carefully we design, then one this very mind become like enlightenment. So that whatever this goldsmith is the Dharma. Yeah? So goldsmith is the Dharma because it's designing our mind such a beautiful way. So that's the, the, the we talk about Dharma. So similarly now we need to train our mind uh, first, like uh, we said, like, uh, we need to know the, what's the definition, what's the nature of loving kindness is about. I'll just repeat a few things. The, the definition or nature of the loving kindness means like, uh, first, uh, object is a sentient beings. You just focus or think about sentient beings. And then what you need to do is like, uh, wish these beings have happiness. So when we say wish them have happiness, like uh, happiness means so many things, yeah. Happiness means like a uh, uh, may they have a holiday, then they can happy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah? May they have uh, some kind of a uh, mundane things they happy. We not talk about none of this happiness, yeah. N those happiness is like a uh, same happiness is like a uh, person when you get drunk say I'm happy. 
those who get drugs, they say, I'm happy. They are not really happy. It's just kind of a, uh, kind of a, uh, diluting your mind, then you can't remember all this, your problem, feels like a relaxed, called happiness, not the real. So here happiness means like a, according to dharmic happiness, it's important, dharmic happiness. So this dharmic happiness is very rare in the world. No? Means like a, say, like many of us, say for instance, you do such a good things, that good things means like a help someone, out of that, you develop some kind of happiness. This happiness is far more greater than mundane, such as you buy something, nice present to yourself, you get happiness. It's a vast difference, these two happiness. So we're not talking about that kind of a material happiness, we're talking about the uh, dynamic happiness, doing something that beneficial for others, out of that brings the happiness, that happiness. So that kind of we talk about, all beings have that kind of happiness. Yeah? And then the cause of happiness, we're not talking about may they have abundance of wealth so they can get whatever you want. We're not saying may they have a great job, they can be very successful in We're not talking about that. We call the cause of happiness is the virtues. May they have a virtues. Yeah? So this specific your thought towards other is we call the loving kindness. Make sense? So first we need really important to know what is the loving kindness. Without knowing loving kindness, name of the loving kindness is uh, uh, not means it makes you the the general understanding of what is loving kindness. Yeah. So this we first one know what is loving kindness, and then now you uh, uh, develop this to like yesterday I talk about like a first like a mother, and then gradually kind of a, uh, uh, the. Your close, like I mentioned, the three groups, yeah, close ones. So that's the category: your mom, your dad, family, relative, friends, all on one. Once you completed that, then second batch is like your enemy, uh, dislike people, and then in also include all the suffering being held being. So it's so I mean that's meditate, you know. So it's good to think about uh, each and every uh, three lower realms and think about that physical state, their mental state. When you think about their physical mental state, you say there's no unhappiness, they're also creating or, or cause unhappiness, then also it's the right object to meditate loving kindness. Once you complete that, then you uh, meditate the remaining kindness of the sentence, include the Pardo. Yeah? So just imagine if you spend your mind all the time in that way, sooner or later your mind going to be transformed into loving kindness. You know? So same thing like a, uh, not only just that's the meditation time. Then when you're not meditating, when you meet someone or when you see someone, instantly think, oh, may this person or being have happiness cause happiness. Or when you offer a cup of tea or helping something, just immediately think, may this person again happiness and cause happiness. So consistently just Think of, it's not hard work. It should, since it sounds like hard work, you have to always nothing else but think about loving kindness. Because just more you think about loving kindness, it stops us to develop the non virtuous thoughts. And while we stay in that state, it's a, such a peaceful state of mind. You know. So in this reason, so many beneficial. One need to really kind of experiment and investigate. And then in that way, you see more value. When you see the more value, it's not hard to do this practice. But if you don't see the value, then it's kind of restricting. So you should only think there's nothing else, you know. Because at the end of the day, what we really want is the happiness. So real happiness comes when you have a positive mind. Nothing else can bring us happiness. So that's the reason I'm doing it, you know. I want to be happy. So happy is not just going to come out of nowhere. Happiness is not going to come in the wrong causes. Happiness only comes when we create the right cause. So what I'm doing is the right cause. So this brings me the true happiness. So that's kind of very important. Uh, so in this way, uh, practice uh, the loving kindness uh, to all, kind of without any, all sentiment without any exception. And then second, when you have a very strong, genuine compassion develops to you, 
then naturally it develops a great compassion comes up because great compassion is a fruit of the loving kindness. Without loving kindness, it is impossible to develop the great compassion. Yeah. So again, uh, to train our great compassion, then we talk about the three types of compassion. Uh, first one, compassion to sentient beings. Uh, second, uh, compassion to uh, impermanence. Third, compassion to emptiness. Three things. First, like a uh, compassion of sentient beings means like a uh, uh, all sentient being, like a uh, three realm, so, so, uh, three realm sentient beings. Every one of us, we experience three suffering: suffering of suffering, uh, change, and conditions. Uh, so this, when you uh, see this, then you wish them uh, free this suffering and causes the suffering. So just if you think about wish one person free from suffering and cause of suffering, that is we call the compassion. Or you think about free uh, all human beings from suffering, cause of suffering, also compassion. It's not great compassion. So great compassion means like a uh, object is a all sentient being without any exceptional. Yeah, so only that time you have you having the great compassion. So in this way, all beings who experience this three suffering may they free from suffering, and then cause of suffering is like a three non-virtues. Yeah, three non-virtues are mental non-virtues, vocal non-virtues, and physical non-virtues. So ten non-virtues. Yeah, mental is like a cavity harmful thought, wrong view. Vocal is like a lying, harsh word, gossip, and idle talk. And then the physical is the killing, stealing, and sexual misconduct. So these are the, the real creator of all the suffering that we experience. You know? Then within the suffering, there's a, we talk about suffering of suffering, created by uh, what we say like anger mind, mandy. And the suffering of change, the desire, mainly created by the desire. Suffering or condition, prime creator is like ignorance. So these three, creating three types of sufferings. So this one, the, uh, what we call the first, the compassion to sentient beings. Now second, compassion to the Dharma, or impermanence means like a, uh, say, the, uh, the man, what we say like a, uh, root of non-virtues is like a ignorance, we call the ignorance of obscuration. Ignorance of obscuration means like, a, uh, in, uh, I mentioned a few times, like a, in our absolute nature of the mind is a pure, but we mistakenly think that the mind, pure mind is a self, we grasp on it. The moment we grasp it as a self, then that develops this attachment, develops this anger, and develops the ignorance. So once we develop this tree, then it creates all this non virtues comes. When we create non virtues it leads us to suffering. So root of all the suffering is ignorance. So in this way, like a, may all beings free from this ignorance mind. So this is what we call the compassion to, uh, in, you know, what we call it, uh, impermanence or ignorance. Yeah, the, uh, that's the second one. So this actually, uh, it's a bit more kind of uh, greater than suffering. Like I say, uh, even people who, like a uh, uh, very successful, mundane successful, for instance, yeah, also object of compassion. Mundane point of view says we know the best uh, compassion because this person so do well. But in a spiritual, dummy point of view, this success involves so many non virtues there. So, due to this non virtues, sooner or later that person is going to be suffering. And that point of view uh, is an object. That's the second one.